Neyuta, an inquisitive islander, is lured to the huge unknown beyond his own island. He discovers ancient ruins and heavenly bodies, which provide insights into other realms. Neyuta goes on an epic voyage, exploring unknown territory and making incredible discoveries. The legend of Neyuta boasts magnificent high-definition images, a finely composed audio composition, and all-new artwork. Players engage in real-time action gameplay that is modified by the current season and employ season-specific magic to vanquish enemies. The Legend of Runerja is an immersive grand strategy simulation game set in Runerja, a realm of immense power populated by six main nations, over 40 bases, 100 knights, and 50 distinct monsters. To capture opposing bases, players must pick a ruler and form platoons. The game provides a basic yet detailed war simulation experience, complete with unit development and map-based conflicts. The game provides a unique experience, with each gameplay giving a distinct war for the continent. The game centers around the discovery of five mana stones embedded in brigandine armor. Detective Ito's colleague is gone, resulting in a difficult and unpleasant investigation. Tokyo Dark allows players to influence the story via their choices and actions, which affect Ito's mental stability. Key elements include the SPIN system, an immersive tour of Tokyo's murky underbelly, and a multifaceted tale with 13 potential endings. The game combines the puzzle-solving exploration and narrative intricacy of point-and-click adventures with the depth and intrigue of visual novels, enabling players to confront their history while navigating an uncanny environment around them. Fix the Cat is a fast-paced arcade game that requires players to collect all of the ducklings and take them to safety. The goal is to collect eggs to use as ammo while eliminating opponents. Players may enhance their talents by competing against their own ghost, friends, the leaderboard, and game creators. There are four different game modes Arena, Arcade, Nostalgia, and Laboratory. Arena emphasizes jousting with pals, whereas Arcade focuses on hatching ducklings and navigating the grid of infinity. The Laboratory assesses problem-solving abilities. Cyberhook is a 3D platformer game in which players utilize parkour skills and a grappling hook to traverse walls, participate in battle, and demolish objects. The game has endurance mode, which allows players to complete many levels without taking pauses. The game provides an exciting parkour experience in which players climb walls and carefully navigate to escape devastating falls. Cyberhook contains over 70 stages that put players' parkour talents to the test as well as global leaderboards for them to follow. Super Mega Zero is a fast-paced platformer in which players must race against time to save Miss Undefined from the sinister kill screen. The game combines precise movements and puzzles with aspects of shoot-em-up games. Players may choose between classic platforming, numerical problem-solving, and explosive shoot-em-up gaming. Key features include precisely planned stages, arcade-style graphics, and exhilarating chiptune music, unlocking new powers and power-ups, and competing with friends and gamers from all around the world for the greatest leaderboard score. Biebs and her companions are stuck in a weird world within a painting, relying on their platforming abilities to get back home. The game has a unique checkpoint system that allows players to establish their own checkpoints at any moment, resulting in a smooth and pleasurable gameplay experience. With 10 levels, gamers can uncover new challenges and risks. Collectibles may be spent to purchase six suites, which add depth and individuality to the gameplay. Additional objectives include collecting sweets, locating secret vinyl records, and earning trophy times. Only robots live in the final metropolis on the planet, with Endeavor being the only one shielded by a glass dome. A robot worker with the rare ability to manage several machinery is on a journey to repair himself and discover sentient life. The city regards this worker as a threat, 
and all machines and defenses have turned against him. Hand-drawn imagery inspired by science fiction publications and the work of great futurists such as Jock Fresco are featured in the game. The King's Bird is an exciting adventure game that transports players to a secret world controlled by a ruler. The game's rich architecture and gorgeous vistas allow players to master the art of gliding across perilous terrain. The dynamic soundtrack and engaging sound effects bring depth and emotion to the gameplay experience. The game's plot is told through fascinating animated images that trace five separate realms influenced by ancient Mayan Southeast Asian and Roman tradition. The game combines unique gameplay with breathtaking visuals and an engrossing narrative. Double Cross is an action-adventure game in which players take on the role of Zara, an agent of Rift entrusted with keeping the peace across multiple realms. Following an attack on the Rift headquarters, players must employ advanced equipment to move, battle, and explore across several dimensions. They must collect clues in order to identify the assailant and preserve the universe. Customizable play style, adventure game action, a novel proton slinger system, and a variety of strikes and combinations are among the highlights. In the 1990s, a nostalgic adventure platformer follows a chubby child who is turned into a balloon by cartoon villains. After fleeing, he turns this change into a superpower, gaining abilities such as shooting fireballs and lightning. The game features a unique tale set in a cartoonish environment, with players able to visit nine places, including the Kingdom of Lost Balloons. Players may modify Chris's movements and gain powerful spells. They confront unusual opponents such as samurai cats, cyborg penguins, and vampires. The game has hard levels, different modes, and unlockable material. Res Please is a one-of-a-kind pixel art puzzle platformer with co-op and single-player modes. To overcome riddles and conquer dungeons, players must strategically kill their own brothers, Arkan and Zeph. The game takes a different approach to standard co-op, focused on tactical extermination rather than survival. Players can learn a range of magical spells, but they must master them in order to overcome obstacles. Players may personalize their gaming experience with extra options such as PvP foot race and unlock difficult gauntlet stages. The goal is to fix the concerns of wicked spirits and convert them into paying clients. You will mingle with the locals while exploring the mountain. Activities include resolving spirit concerns, forming friendships with locals, and maintaining the old bathhouse, which is being upgraded and decorated. The bathhouse is an antique structure hidden beneath the mountain that must be restored in order to attract a regular stream of guests. You must maintain cleanliness, give excellent service, and adjust the water for each spirit to guarantee a seamless operation. <laughs> Phoenix, a pyromancer, is on a mission to comprehend his visions and unlock his skills in the Forbidden Arts, an action-adventure platformer. There are five planets with many stages each, six boss fights, and over 30 opponents throughout the game. The Pyromancer Flame is used by players to cast spells, shield themselves, and alter the environment. The game switches between 2D and 3D modes, allowing players to store their progress. Along with action, the Forbidden Arts includes missions, puzzles, and the ability to acquire new powers. Players must demonstrate their abilities as actual pyromancers. <laughs> the game has diverse weapons with unique powers and playstyles, allowing for strategic and varied gameplay. Players may upgrade and personalize their weaponry, confront epic boss battles, acquire new ships with varied powers, find hidden mysteries, and compete in internet leaderboards. The game's moody soundtrack heightens the tension while the simple control system allows for precision movement and shooting. Players may explore the alien planet through treasures and story aspects, and the game includes a rigorous yet fair difficulty curve for both casual and hardcore players.
Within the Blade is an engrossing game that combines stealth, platforming, and RPG elements. Players take on the role of experienced ninjas in medieval Japan, completing tasks using stealth. They gather resources for weapons such as shurikens, poisons, elixirs, grenades, and mines, and they have access to the ninjato and kusaregama. Fast-paced action, 10 bosses with distinct powers, many sorts of foes, a crafting system with over 200 recipes, realistic gore, and bright animations are all included in the game. The final aim is to murder the warlord and bring the area back to peace. Topsy, a cheeky turnip, risks eviction in this creative universe. Because he has not paid his taxes, he sets off on a trip to redeem his debt to Mayor Onion, the vegetable community's harsh leader. He confronts plant-based problems and battles a corrupt vegetable government while using garden equipment such as a shovel, watering can, and pruning shears. Inequality and injustice are widespread in the community. Topsy gathers his comrades and devises a strategy to overthrow the corrupt dictatorship. His nefarious character motivates others to rebel against the corrupt leadership. Thanks everyone for watching. If you liked any one of these games, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Hope to see you on the next one. And stay awesome.